Hello friends, Jeff here from the House of Heresy and back once again with another Double Masters 2022 Collector Booster Box Pack Cracking. So far we've had pretty good luck across the board. This one's another individual box. We've already done the case. So this is the next of the individual boxes. Might have one or two more of these and should have another case uh, in the not so distant future. So look forward to that. Hope you've enjoyed the content so far. I know I certainly have been loving this set. It's probably one of my favorite openings to date. So without further ado, let's uh, get into it. Yep, I definitely have been enjoying the quality, the the art, just the uh, the set in general. It's really a nice set. Looking forward to playing with a bunch of these cards and different decks and seeing them because I'm sure lots of my friends will be doing the same. All right, so first borderless, common or uncommon, we got a Monastery Swift Spear. Not a terrible pull, although I certainly have plenty of those. Flicker Wisp, again, one of my favorite art pieces from the common and uncommon borderless slot. <laughs> All right, once again, Monastery Swift Spear. And Rule Turf. All right, so now we're getting into the rares. The first pack rare is a Mythic. All right, I actually don't think I pulled her yet. That's cool. She is kind of creepy looking, that's for sure. But the flowing looks awesome. I really love what they did with the, uh, they were able to highlight the different pieces. The butterflies looking all three-dimensional like they're actually flying. Really nice job. All right. First borderless non-foil is also a mythic. Imperial Seal, all right. I have not yet pulled a borderless Imperial Seal. That is awesome. That is super exciting. What a great looking card. That is perfect. All right, starting off strong with the pack, two mythics in a row. Not gonna complain about that. That is definitely a solid hit. All right, in the etched foil we got the Lich Queen, who is probably not as solid of a hit, but you know what? That's okay. After the last pull, not going to complain. All right, last pack is another Mythic. It is a Foil Ulamog. Very nice. That is not textured. I have pulled one of these textured, if you, as I'm sure you saw in a previous video, but still, that is gorgeous. That just looks great. Yep, very, very nice. All right, so three uh, three Mythic Pack to start us off here. Regardless of what else is here, that's uh, a pretty solid box. In fact, I would argue that we probably won't do much better than that. Um, but we'll see. Let's see what the box has to offer. It's always nice to hit a really big, I mean, from like a suspense standpoint, it gets, it's a little sad since, you know, that's kind of the, probably going to be the highlight of the video, but uh, at the same time, it takes a lot of pressure off where you can just enjoy what's coming next, knowing that you probably have already uh, hit this, uh, this box out of the ballpark. So, all right, we got a Mentor of the Meek. We got a Boros Garrison. Coiling Oracle in the foil, always a nice card. Nice looking card at least. And an is it boiler works. Really enjoying the bounce, bounce land so far. All right, and for our first rare or mythic, we have a rare in the foil slot. Karavik the Merciless, all right, not the most exciting. He just got a reprint in, I believe, Time Spiral Remastered, so. All right, Borderless, we got a rare. Bloom Tender, very nice. That's a solid hit. Not going to complain about that at all. It's always nice when the rare slots, or when the rare cards pay off. All right, we have another rare in the foil etched. Hardened scales. Okay, that's not too bad. That's another good one. I'm not actually sure if I pulled this in uh, the foil etched yet or not, but that's really cool. All right, and in our borderless foil, we got a rare force of negation. Wow. All right. That is a beautiful card. So nice. Yeah, okay, all right, this box is uh, 
doing well. <laughs> it's funny, I think uh, my single boxes have actually been pretty uh, pretty on fire for most of uh, oops, I put Carrick in the wrong slot there. There we go. For most of the the ones so far, I mean, not that the case was bad. I throw very happy with uh, the results of my case pulls, but. I think of the, this will be my fourth single box, uh, two of them, well, we'll see how this one fully plays out, but getting, spoiler alert, getting the, uh, the textured uh, Emrakul Emer in the second box I opened was pretty spectacular, and the rest of that box was amazing, but the first box I opened really was not that bad either, so this one seems like it's doing pretty all right as well. Sorry, let's kind of go through these real quick. All right, getting into the borderless commons and uncommons. We got a spell pierce, very nice. Rakdos Carnarium. I actually don't have a lot of the Rakdos uh, bounce lands for some reason. That's like the one that I'm at my lowest quantity of. Lightning Bolt, beautiful card. Again, one of my favorite pieces of art in the common and uncommon borderless. And we have a Seeker of the Ways. Okay. Get into the rares. This is pack number three, so we are now over halfway through. First one is a rare. All right, Tower and Sky Summoner. Yep, you just got a reprint too. I believe in. Was that Modern Horizons 2? I can't remember. I know I have a bunch of them. All right, and we got another rare. Hardened Scales. Okay, that's a nice one. Not going to complain about that. It's a good solid rare pull. And Mythic Warrior's Oath. All right. Not the most exciting mythic, but still, I think that could make for some pretty wild uh, ends to games there, especially if you're playing like commander or something. I mean, realistically, if you're if you're playing at that level where you're uh, going all in, then you're probably already comboing and stuff like that, so you don't really need a card like this. But it'd be fun just to rub it in your opponent's faces. And the last one's also a mythic. Oh man, look at that! Borderless Dockside Extortionist. Wow. In the foil, that is gorgeous. That is really nice. All right, this box is on fire. Yeesh. Okay, very nice. I actually have not pulled any of him either. So, but him and the Imperial Seal were two that I've been looking to get. Um, I think. Yeah, I might have, I'm trying to think if I, there's any like major heavy hitters. I know it's not like probably top tier, but I still would like to get a, at least one or two Consecrated Sphinxes. That's another one of those cards that I've been eyeing over the, the last, over the years. And I just haven't pulled the trigger on it because I, uh, I was debating about whether I wanted to actually go in on uh, one of the Amonkel ones or not. But now that this set came out, I'll probably do this. All right, so last pack. This is it. We've already had a pretty spectacular run so far. So, I mean, honestly, again, as with some of my previous boxes, if they, if they just want to give me total garbage, you know what? I'm, at this point, I'm probably okay with that because we did pretty well. All right, Young Pyromancer. Actually, that's another big hit that I haven't got is the Season Pyromancer in Borderless yet, but hopefully that will come. Unearth in the foil. Very nice. Boros Garrison. All right, our first rare of the final pack is Intet the Dreamer. Okay, not the most exciting, but you know, dragons are dragons. So. All right, our first Borderless is a rare. Chaos Warp, all right. Always a, an exciting card when it gets played. At the foil etched, we got another rare. Privileged Position, okay, that's pretty good. That's a not bad pull. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> Getting a little excitement going on there. Let me get the camera back in position. There we go. Okay. Accidentally knocked the table. All right. And the last card is a rare, and it is the Mimeoplasm. Okay. Not the most exciting. All right. Well, that was a pretty exciting box all around. I'm not going to complain about that. So just to do a quick recap, in the Mythic slot, we pretty much, outside of maybe Warrior's Oath, we definitely hit some home runs there. 
getting that borderless Ulamog, of course the Imperial Seal, and then the Foil Dockside Extortion. It's just amazing. And then, in the borderless Rare Foil, we got the Force of Negation, which is always a winner. Um, and then in the borderless Non Foil, Bloom Tender, Hardened Scales are pretty good. Chaos Warp isn't bad, but probably, that's probably the order of precedence there in terms of how good they are. Foil, pack, or pack foil, again, nothing crazy. Oh, whoops, I forgot. She is, in fact, a mythic. So, I've been bad about that. For whatever reason, the planeswalkers in these, and the foil and the foil etch just seem to wind up in their slot, or in their uh, piles there, not in the mythic pile. So, and then those are the, those are the foil etch. So, hardened scales, privileged position, both pretty good. Witch queen, not so much. So that is that. So we got five mythics, overall really good. And actually, if you want to hold on for a second here, just because I haven't uh, had a chance to do this, let me pull out my textured Ulamog. Luckily, I have the cards close by. And let's, uh, we'll just take a quick side-by-side uh, -side comparison, just so you can kind of see. All right, so he is double foil or uh, double sleeved, so probably not can't see quite as well, but hopefully, hopefully you can kind of see where the texturing is, just because I know that, like especially this one, there's a lot going on, so it might be hard at first glance to tell exactly the difference. But if you look at it, you can see like almost like fingerprints, just kind of like the the different lines that they have going there where the texture is, and this one does not have that. So, yeah, so there you go. So if you if you ever have any question, just look for the fingerprint pattern, fingerprint looking pattern on the, uh, especially on the dead spaces. They really don't have it on the parts where it's kind of raised up. So it would be mostly the background where you would see that. So hopefully that helps as you're going through your pack openings as well. Um, okay, so that's uh, that's another round of collector box opening. So I hope you enjoyed it. Oops, let's put that there. Um, I know I sure did. That was a great, great pack there or a great box. So if you like what you saw, please give me a like. If you enjoy what you have seen so far and want to see more of what's coming, please subscribe. And as always, if you throw any comments down below, I'd love to um, answer back and hear what you have to say. So thanks again. I hope you have a great day.